hello long time no talk no video you know um but as you can see we're in a new place new studio super exciting it's still a little bit in shambles i'm mostly unpacked but i have some boxes that are still full of things and i'm running out of places to put them but for this video i thought that we would do some fun crafts because i have some decorating that i want to do first off i have a mirror that we salvaged from the powder room which got redone um, it's a big wall mirror and it just didn't fit with the decor anymore, so we moved it into here. Um, the only issue is that it's frameless, so it's kind of ugly. My original thought was to just build a frame for it out of some leftover molding we have. Yeah, it sounds like a lot of work, I don't want to do that. Um, so my new plan was to make a nice long garland to go around it and just hang it up with some hooks. That way it's interchangeable and I can change it with the seasons. So that means come fall, I can make a pretty fall garland. Uh, super exciting. And uh, yeah, that's my plan for that one. I got some, I got some stuff from Michael's, uh, lots of ivy. And then I also just kind of hoard flowers. A couple of years ago, I did a costume of an original design of a gender bent Hades and I was looking for lots of like purpley red flowers that are usually found during the fall. The convention I made it for is in June. Wasted tons of money on flowers that I could have gotten for like 70% off had I planned this and timed it correctly. That kind of scared me forever and now I just buy flowers that I think are pretty whenever they're on clearance at Michael's or Joanne's. So I have a huge hoard of flowers at like bins and bins full. and. We'll just use those. It'll be great. My second project, um, I don't know if you guys are on TikTok or if you've seen these around, um, but I've been seeing a lot of these like DIY moss covered mirrors on TikTok and Pinterest. And I thought that might be a fun little project because I want to make this room kind of like cottage core and uh, you know. <laughs> so we picked up a pack of three mirrors from Home Goods, and this was on clearance for like 20 bucks because this the box is all fucked up uh, and so that made these like about six dollars per mirror which is so cheap and I just I'm just like shining lights into the camera um, but that made this super cheap and like the perfect mirrors for doing this kind of project so got these mirrors and then I picked up some cheap moss from Joann's. The Joann's we went to was having like a power outage, but they were still open. So I went shopping for moss in the dark at Joann's. My general plan for the garland is I'm gonna just measure around how long I need for the mirror to be like completely encompassed, and then disassemble these like ivy sprays. Um, and then I've got a big thing of floral wire and I'm just gonna wrap it and then hang it with hooks, I think, around the mirror. Um, and that'll make it so that I can take it apart in the future if I ever decide that I do need these flowers for a future costume. For the mirror, we're just hot gluing moss to the mirror. That's it. That's all I got. Those, that's my plan. There is no further plan other than that. If that becomes a problem, then well, I guess you'll see that. So anyways, let me give you a quick show around the room. It's obviously not done yet, but <laughs> it's more done than it was when it was just the mouse death room so you know that's something it's gonna probably change between now and like the final thing and then i'll also be uploading a video eventually of this room completely done and like the process that it took to get from the mausoleum as my brother calls it to finished studio so i'm very excited i'm like finally it's finally getting here <laughs> uh yeah okay so let's do that tour when you walk in the door here, I'm like at the door right now, uh, you are greeted by this mound of boxes. Here's my sewing machine. I've decided that I want it more in the middle of the room rather than up against a wall this time just because it'll make it easier to film when I'm sewing things. And here's my big table. Uh, big table is a big mess, but <laughs> we're getting there. You guys saw the bookshelves in the last shot and I'm really happy with them. Um, I put them together pretty much on my own. My boyfriend helped me a little bit, but I did most of it myself because he works all day, I don't. So <laughs> that's where we're at. Um, these are some flowers for Alice that have not gone onto the costume yet, but I like to store my fake flowers 
in flower pots because I just think it's a really cute way to do it and also like it's what flower pots are made for. It's I've found that it is the most contained way to store all my flowers. <laughs> We've got racks of fabric here and fabric underneath here. And then this is gonna be my editing slash bullet journaling desk. I'm hoping to put an ironing table here. This is the view of the backyard, which it's blown out, so maybe later. And here is the mirror in question. So basically, I just want to completely surround this mirror um, in flowers just to hide the clips and I don't know, I think it'll look prettier and more cozy if it's got some flowers around it. That's that's mostly it. It's kind of a mess right now, but we're going shopping tomorrow to look for an ironing table and maybe some more storage stuff. So hopefully things will start taking more shape there. So that's what I've got so far. Uh, it's still a work in progress, obviously, but you know, it's getting there. So let's let's work on some flowery shit. I'm gonna start with the mossy mirror first and I've got my hot glue gun here heating up and I've got my mirror. We're gonna Windex it so it's all nice and clean. I've got my moss. I found some like little trinkety things that I may or may not use but I thought they were cute. Um, and then just like various flowers and stuff. I don't know. The one I liked the most had like a mushroom theme to it but I don't have any fake mushrooms so we're gonna go with like purpley flowers instead. We'll figure it out. It'll be fine. super cute. Let's prop it up somewhere. This was very messy. Look at that. So cute. Okay, we have one project complete out of two. So let's start on the flower garland. I measured around my mirror and the long sides are 50 inches and then the short sides are about 43 inches. So total that is, hello, 186 inches. Do you want to see how you look? It's been so long. It's been so long. She says, no, I'm done. She's like staring at some kind of bug or something. Oh, that's inside the window. Hold on, I have to go kill a bug. Okay, we're back. Not sure if that was a flying ant or a wasp, but I am allergic to things that sting, so Micah took care of it. So let's, <laughs> let's make a flower garland. Okay, I've got all of this ivy, and I think I'm just gonna cut it into individual strands and then wire each of the strands together to make them one big long strand, right? And then I will also be periodically wiring these little flowers into it. And then I've got some other flowers that I think I might add. This is just what I bought from Michael's, Joanne's, Michael's. Yeah, so that's the plan. Pretty should be pretty straightforward. Hopefully it is. Hopefully nothing comes up that's weird. Okay, cool. Let's start. Hello. Thank you. 
thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not like sewing or anything, but it's crafting and that's adjacent, right? Yeah, so I still need to figure out where I'm going to put this mirror, but um, I got the garland all set up and I think it looks really nice. Uh, it'll be a cute place to take selfies and outfit pics and like progress pictures. So I'm very happy with that. Studio still has some work to do, but we're getting there. We're getting there and I'm hoping that next week it will be done. Then we can start back up on Alice and we can get back to like the regularly scheduled content, hopefully. Mm. Just as a little aside, the garland technique that I used is also super useful for flower crowns. So if you have a lot of like fake flowers and you want to make them into a circle to put on your head, as long as they have a little bit of a stem, you can just wire them together and make a thing as long as you want or as short as you want and you make a flower crown and it's super cute. This doesn't really translate to costuming much because I just glued stuff to a mirror, but the garland does. So hopefully that is still a useful takeaway and yeah. Um, that's it. That's all I got for now. Well, I'm still working on the studio and we're still trying to get everything situated, um, but I'm mostly unpacked. I just need to find a few more storage items and then we're good. Cool. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button, right? Uh, <laughs> if you liked the video at all or you want to chat, uh, please comment. Leave a comment. I miss talking to you guys. Uh, it's been like very sporadic the posting meaning once I think since I moved and you know if you want to see when I actually go back to sewing or you like this kind of crafty stuff uh, hit the subscribe button let me know I love to talk to everybody who watches my videos and likes to leave comments I enjoy that uh, you guys are very nice all the time so uh, yeah that's it I'm starting to ramble so I'm gonna get going and keep working on the studio and hopefully it will be done soon Ooh, okay, bye. <laughs>